What's going on guys, Greg here. So I haven't posted a video in quite a while, but I'm still alive. I still love YouTube. I just wish I had more time and uh, more content to provide you guys in order to make more videos. Um, but today it's a uh, boring Saturday morning. It's raining here in New York. We had incredible weather yesterday. It was like 67 degrees, so took the day off work, washed the cars, took the Z06 out for a drive. Overall amazing day to not be working. So I'm actually driving over to pick up my brother. Uh, we're heading up to upstate New York um, to meet at my friend's shop, Elite Auto Works um, in Goshen. He does incredible work there on performance cars and also just your daily drivers, whatever work you need to be done awesome shop he took great care of me when i had my mark IV supra so we're actually looking at a german car used german car it's about 10 years old now uh for my brother he's going to be replacing his cadillac ats with this car that we're going to look at um so we found the car on facebook marketplace uh it's owned by this older gentleman who's had a bunch of other performance cars in his collection so it's definitely a car guy selling it and he has uh, some pretty nice upgrades tasteful mods done to this car and uh, he has all the stock parts for it as well so that's great uh, we agreed to meet at this shop because he's actually only about 15 minutes away from there and uh, being you know a 10 year old German car with almost a hundred thousand miles it would be a great idea to pay for an hour of labor have the car put on a lift, have a whole pre-purchase inspection done to it. And that way, um, you know, it's much better than me getting down on my knees, jacking up the car in the rain and seeing what could possibly be wrong with it. We're actually meeting up with another guy in Facebook Marketplace because I'm selling some uh, drag reedle tires off the Z06. And uh, this shop that we're going to is uh, even closer to him than it is to come here got a lot of things to get done today on this rainy rainy saturday but uh hopefully we get some nice content for you and uh we'll see you at the shop we made it to elite auto works we got the s4 going up onto the lift we're gonna have the mechanics take a look through everything underneath but so far i did a paint gauge reading and everything seems to be original paint so far, the car looks pretty straight. Got two sets of wheels. These are the winter wheels with the Blizzax. And he's got the other peelers that are silver with summer tires. Window tinters are here. I might get my windows done while we're here too. Yeah, these tires are getting low. It's got toe wear. All right, so they took a look underneath. The only issue was the lower control arm bushing on the driver's side was kind of cracked, but it didn't look awful. So that could probably go another season before it gets changed. Um, but you know, that's not a terrible thing for the kind of miles it has, the transmission, the engine's got no leaks or anything like that. Which is crazy for a nine-year-old S4. There are a few little door dings here. Nothing crazy. Brought the car down. I'm gonna check the engine. The hood prop is, uh, hydraulic is going out, so we're gonna need a new one of that. 104K. Alcantara. The seats are actually in really nice shape for how many miles it has. Usually these bolsters get super worn out. Mm -hmm. 
seen up in weekend, yeah. Alright, so PPI is done. Only two issues, the hood prop hydraulic is going out and that one lower control arm bushing. We're going to go out and take it for a test drive. Alright guys, we are back in the S4. We're heading home now. I'm driving it. My brother is taking the Raptor back home. It's like an hour drive, um, but we're driving through Bear Mountain right now. Um, it just sucks that it's so cloudy and uh, the roads are damp. Otherwise, it would have been like a really nice drive. Um, but regardless, this thing is so much fun uh, with the supercharger. We're crossing the Bear Mountain Bridge now. You guys will see the background change um it's got yeah apr stage one tune it's got an afe intake it's got the resonator delete audio system sounds insane in this car i think it's actually better than the bang and olsen in the uh the raptor it's just way louder it's got so much more power to it um it, it's actually like deafening whereas in the raptor i can crank it to full volume and i'll be like that's it like so i don't know it's really loud in this um i adjusted the tuning a little bit i've always been a, a huge fan of uh audio systems in cars and the fact that this comes factory and just sounds that good um it's perfect so this is going to be an awesome little project car for my brother and i uh the car is going to need to be detailed not that the paint is in bad condition the wheels um, definitely need to be refinished. I think we might end up selling the peelers and uh, getting a set of the V-spoke um, wheels that come on the black ops. That's what I had on my 2015 S4. I don't know why I'm on Bear Mountain Road right now and I'm not taking advantage of these supercharger noises. So let's do that. I don't know how sketch these tires are, so I'm not gonna go insane. But it sounds so good. Yeah. That sounds so sick. Maybe it's loud if I roll the window down a little bit. Oh, now you hear the exhaust, yeah. So it's got the resonator delete, which I think sounds, it's a little raspy. Than I like. I think we will eventually get the AWE touring, which sounds really good. Um, but I've never driven an S4 that had a tune because mine was bone stock. So the only thing mine had was the intake and the exhaust, but performance wise uh, with the tune, it was stock. So, um, and mine was also a manual. This one's the seven speed uh, dual clutch. This one definitely pulls harder, I gotta say. Um, and obviously with the DCT, dual clutch, ESG, whatever you want to call it, um, the shifts are a lot faster, there's launch control. So I've always loved these cars. So let's do a little pull. All right, we got the S4 all details, looking nice. Take it out for one spin. We're gonna try to do some launch control, maybe. We can figure this out. Oh, this thing holds, it's an hour. This thing's got some oomph 
Okay, so with the APR tuned, it definitely launches a lot harder than stock. Like usually the tires don't spin or chirp like the way they did. Don't try this at home. <laughs> it's a lot faster in the passenger seat. This is great. See, I think this is almost more fun than the Z06 because it's power that you can put down and control at all times. Like, to get thrown back into your seat on every pole, on every corner is great. This thing would probably destroy the Z06 on these back roads where the speed limit is infinite in Mexico. They do have very nice grass here in Tijuana. Yeah, this was a great purchase.